Hey guys, welcome back to an invent box. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the bucket fill, fill tool in Krita. So it's actually a pretty simple tool. I'm going to show you how to use it. So say so you have a color that you want to change. Here I have selected the bucket fill tool, and here in the corner is red. And in the bucket fill tool, I can change the color, and I want it to paste black. So if I click on the red, everything that has that red hue to it is going to change to black. And here you can adjust the threshold. So it it would have to only be just about the exact color that you select, that exact pixel color. But if I change the threshold to 100, it gives it a little bit of a variant. So if it's a dark blue or a light blue, it'll change that color as well. So I'm going to change the threshold to 100 here just so we can see what it does. If I click on blue, it changes just about all that blue to black. If I take the threshold down to like 35, 36, and click on the pink, <clears throat> it's going to change a lot of that. Same with the green. It's only changing a little bit here. The pink was all just about one solid color there. So when you do that, it almost all gets selected. But if I click on the green, it only selects a little bit compared to if I have threshold on 100. It selects a lot more. It actually selects some out around in the background because that's actually closer to green. So I'll take the threshold down to like 7. And if I click there, you can only see in a few spots. It looks like it's all the same color, but it's actually not. So that is very useful whenever you adjust the threshold to color different amounts of threshold. And then if we click here, like on the back of this, it's going to slowly change the color to black. So if I click on the black again, and again, it's, everything is slowly getting more and more black, which means it's going to be changing it more and more until it gets to the point where this is totally, op like not opposite, but totally different from the black. Like there's some white and there's nothing similar enough here in black. If I turn this up to 100, it'll do it just a little bit. And now that everything is starting to turn, if we click a few more times, the entire screen will turn b black. It seems like just a little bit of that green there didn't turn black, so if we, we could even click there and it would get rid of that. So we can undo that. And that is just about it actually for the bucket fill tool. It's just a tool you have to play around to get the hang of it and kind of see how it works and what you'll use it for. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.